praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Right now, the Lord has spoken with me this past night. Well, I want the listeners to know that uh, the Lord has spoken with me uh, this past night. I know that this weekend was a very powerful and glorious weekend in Nairobi that the Lord had spoken about in prophecy by voice. The Lord actually instructed that uh, it was around 20th, really, of, um, of April, and the Lord said, the consecration of bishops will take place this month. And then uh, we began to make preparations for the consecration of bishops that took place this past weekend. The Lord knew that in all the arrangements and the how big churches, it would it can only take place towards the end. And so there was April 28th and 29th. 28th was baptism that uh, for a long time the bishops have uh, longed that uh, the men of God baptized them before consecration. And then uh, the consecration took place this past Saturday, which is April 29th. And um, so that was such a powerful, glorious time because the Lord had spoken about his glory, transfiguration, that he would come and transfigure his servant, he that speaks with you. And there's a very, very stunning moment that beheld here when the Lord now brought his glory and uh, also transfigured his servant in a very, very mighty way, in a manner that's very fearful, that makes us also understand that really time is running out. The Lord is doing things deliberately to awaken the nations, to alert them on the message he has sent and prepare the way, and the messenger. Well, at this past night now, uh, after all this took place, then the Lord by voice said, that every year during this time, he commanded by voice that every year during this time, we shall observe a feast unto the Lord. So may the Lord bless everybody, that the Lord can command an event by voice. And he says that the consecration of bishops takes place this month, and that was only 10 days to the end of the month, and knowing how big the ministry is, the Lord definitely knew it would happen towards the end of the month to be the deadline for the month, but also to put together all the preparations, the modalities, and the readiness for that very important uh, baptism of the bishops and then consecration of the bishops. And then we saw how the Lord visited in his glory at the pool every bishop that was coming, essentially coming towards me to be baptized. As they drew closer to me in the water, they essentially entered into the glory of the Father. And when, as I baptized them, when I bent to baptize them, even the glory did the same. It bent like this. The glory that the Lord used to overshadow me did bend to, when they were baptized, to baptize them, and they came out. And then after that now came the events of Saturday when he transfigured his servant, when he went to cut the cake. And also the massive glory, the video that's running around the YouTube now, that the Lord put in this place, everything turned white. Some of the glory was pouring from the feet of the servant of the Lord. So, so this becomes a very important time because he comes back in the night, this past night, and he instructs that every year at this time we shall observe a feast, a celebration feast unto the Lord. The Messiah is coming. Let everyone be holy. Behold, there is a new priesthood in the land now. And I wish that all other nations could have new priests with such an instruction, with a straight instruction on righteousness, zero tolerance to sin, an instruction of holiness and preparing the church for the Messiah. I have seen the coming of the Messiah. Let all the nations prepare because the Lord is coming. Christ Jesus, the Messiah, my Lord, is coming. Shalom. Shalom.